The telescope that broke the universe. Intro What if the most powerful scientific instrument ever built has just revealed something we were never supposed to witness? What if the very foundations of space, time, and existence the rules we thought were absolute are beginning to crumble? The James Webb Space Telescope was launched with one goal. To look deeper into the universe than any telescope before it. To show us how it all began. But it may have done something far more profound. And far more terrifying. It may have shown us something that doesn't belong. Something that defies every law of physics. Something so alien, that a Nobel Prize winning physicist could only say, this is not our universe. What did Webb really see? And why are leading scientists sounding the alarm? This is part one of a two-part series that may change the way you think about everything. The impossible galaxy high above Earth, orbiting beyond the reach of our atmosphere, Webb scanned a region of space filled with the faint glow of ancient light. In one corner, it spotted what looked like a small, unremarkable yellow blur. But when astronomers focused in, their assumptions unraveled. That small dot was actually a galaxy. And not just any galaxy. It was the oldest and most distant galaxy ever observed formed just 290 million years after the universe supposedly began. That might not sound early but in cosmological terms, it's like finding a skyscraper still standing minutes after the Big Bang. The problem? It shouldn't exist. It was too massive, too bright, too developed to have formed so soon after the universe began expanding. By all current models of physics and cosmology, there simply wasn't enough time, energy, or raw material for such a structure to form. And yet, there it was. And this galaxy wasn't alone. Webb soon discovered dozens more just like it. Scattered across the sky each one a violation of everything we thought we knew. Each one a paradox. Each one whispering. The rules have changed. The strangeness multiplies curiosity turned to concern as scientists analyzed the data. Because these galaxies weren't just massive. They were utterly alien in their structure. Typical galaxies, like our own Milky Way, convert about 10% of their available gas into stars. The rest remains as interstellar dust and hydrogen. But some of the galaxies Webb found had used up 100% of their mass to form stars. No gas. No dust. Just pure, burning starlight. That's not just improbable. It's impossible according to every model of how galaxies form. So what are they? What are we looking at? The answers have scientists asking a much darker question. What if these aren't galaxies at all? What if we're not looking at the early universe, but at something far older or far more foreign? A leftover structure from before the Big Bang? A dimensional rupture? A glimpse into another cosmic layer? The limit of what we can see to understand how serious this is. We have to understand the Hubble sphere, the boundary of the observable universe. As space expands, distant galaxies appear to move away from us. The farther away they are, the faster they recede. Eventually, they move faster than the speed of light, not because they're traveling through space, but because space itself is stretching. At that point, light from those galaxies should never reach us. And yet, Webb is picking up signals from beyond that boundary. From regions we shouldn't be able to see. From distances light should never have crossed. The only explanation? We are seeing past the limits of our universe. That's not poetic exaggeration. It's physics breaking, theory shattering, history rewriting truth. And no one knows the universe that shouldn't exist. The heartbeat beyond time as if the galaxies weren't strange enough. Webb's instruments detected something else. Something no one expected. While analyzing background noise across deep space, Webb picked up a faint, repeating signal. It was rhythmic. Pulsing. Precise. It wasn't a pulsar. It wasn't gravitational waves. It wasn't static from the early universe. It was something completely new. Scientists began calling it the heartbeat beyond time. And here's what's most disturbing. It follows a mathematical pattern. Not chaotic, not random structured. As if something, or someone, wanted it to be discovered. 
The invisible hand then came another mystery. Webb began observing gravitational anomalies galaxies warping the space around them, light bending in ways that suggested massive invisible objects. But there was nothing there. Not dark matter. Not black holes. Not even energy fluctuations. Just gravity. With no source. It's like seeing ripples in water with no stone. Just the aftermath. Scientists now think Webb is detecting phantom mass fields imprints left by something massive, outside our universe, pressing down on space-time like a fingerprint on glass. The mirrored cosmos then came perhaps the strangest realization of all. What if everything we see, has a mirror version we can't? Not just a reflection but a mirror universe. A reality where time flows in reverse. Where gravity repels instead of attracts. Where physics plays out backwards from ours. It sounds like science fiction. But recent data from Webb shows strange particle behavior, galaxy spins that defy standard physics, and asymmetrical light patterns that hint at a second framework running beneath ours. It's as if our universe is entangled with another on not touching, but moving in sync. Or possibly, in conflict. The cosmic echo finally, as Webb tracked a fading light from the edge of the known universe something unimaginable happened. The light reappeared. From a different location. From a different time. But with the exact same spectral fingerprint. It was an echo. But how? Either the universe is curved, and the light circled back, or it hit something at the edge and bounced. That, something, shouldn't be there. The conclusion. A universe behind the universe the James Webb Space Telescope was never meant to find these things. It was designed to confirm our theories. To reassure us that we understood the cosmos. Instead it's shaken our reality to the core. The impossible galaxies. The cosmic heartbeat. The phantom gravity. The mirrored dimensions. The echo from the void. Each piece doesn't just raise questions. It undoes answers. A Nobel Prize winning physicist once said, This is not our universe, and maybe, they're right. Maybe we're drifting on the edge of something much older, much stranger, and completely indifferent to us. A deeper structure. A higher order. A universe behind the universe. So now the question isn't. Are we alone in the cosmos? It's, are we even in the right one? Tell us what you think. Are we seeing evidence of another universe? Or has our understanding of reality just begun to crack? Like, comment, and subscribe because the cosmos just blinked back.